Welcome back, everybody. It is day number three here in Pennsylvania. And uh, it's a little warmer out this morning, overcast skies. We're going to head in on the backside of that bird we were on, or I was on yesterday morning. I have all morning I can hunt today, so I'm not going to be handicapped in that sense. But uh, we're going we're gonna to go through the woods instead of go down through the ravine where them hens were roosted yesterday. See if we can't get on top of them. Hopefully uh, he sounds off this morning. So we got a little breeze, but not too bad. We'll see you when I get set up. So we're just waiting on that first gobble. We'll, uh, we might have to make a little bit of a move once he gobbles, but for now we're gonna sit tight. Well, finally just had a bird gobble. And uh, the bird I was hunting this morning that was in here yesterday morning is way up the ravine. It just gobbled probably 250 yards from me. So I'm gonna have to spin around and point that way. We can't get right after it though because it's on a neighbor's property over there so we'll have to try to call it over this way if we can. Well that bird's gobbled a couple times now. He's above us and down this ravine. So I want to get, I'm going to get up on top of the ravine, up on top of the hill up here and come down the property line to the line trees. And uh, Cross my fingers, he wants to go this way. Okay, everybody, those birds are roosted right up there, about 150, up, 150 yards. And uh, here's this hilltop right here. There's a big ravine right to my left, and another steep hill over there. I'm on the same hillside that these birds are roosted on, so I'm hoping they fly down and come right down this hillside right to me. They've been feeding out in the field behind me, so we'll see. I think he's on the ground.
going by. And I'm going to dive down into the ravine, go all the way up around and try to get back in front of them. I had them right here at 45 or 50 yards, but there's so much brush and crap. I could never get a very clear open shot at his head at all. And then trying to run this camera and stuff was a nightmare. But I should have been right up on top of the ravine here. Instead, I was right where the ravine crested the hill because I wanted to see the other side. If I would have been up about 10 yards, I would have freaking nailed that sucker. I know why you didn't want to come down here. There's a uh, bunch of brush and crap right here behind this, this uh, folded up. Fold it up root mass. So he was kind of going out around all this brush and stuff. But we're going to give him five or ten minutes to keep going and then we're going to go all the way around. Oh man. I had the safe on hunting for his head a few times, or safe off hunting for his head with a bead a few times. I just couldn't. I mean, maybe I could have snuck one through there, but you know. That's the thing, if I take a shot at that bird and I don't kill it, I ruined him, you know. We won't, I won't be able to hunt him at all anymore for the rest of, for the most part, for the rest of the season. So a gamble, it's a dangerous gamble. Either you kill him or you uh, don't kill him and then you're, you don't have a turkey to hunt. And right now it's the only freaking turkey over here that I've heard gobble every morning I've been here, so. I haven't heard another turkey gobble anywhere. Let's see if we can't get him to gobble. Okay, let's make a move. Got all the way up around that bird and he's not talking anymore. I have a feeling he's out in the field with a few hens. I know that he had met some, he's been going out to that field later on in the mornings. That's the field that I hunted open a day with a ground blind. So, we're gonna go. Man, that's really depressing. That's the only turkey. That's the only goblin bird in that woods. It's really unusual. Usually there's a lot of birds in that woods goblin every year. And I don't know what the deal is this year. I don't know if it's fishers or or what, but we're gonna go walk up across the road and uh, see if we can't strike something over there. Jeepers. I think uh, that's gonna probably need some attention here pretty soon. We are over across the road. I just stuck the avian uh, Jake and Hen decoy out here in this field. I had no idea if there's even turkeys over here or not. Usually when I listen over there, I can hear birds gobbling if they're on 
the high side of this big ravine here. And I haven't heard a single turkey gobble over here all, all year, but that doesn't mean there's not turkeys over here. I'm kind of going off, uh, you know, it's overcast and uh, really foggy and stuff, hoping these birds go out to the fields. I was worried about cutting that bird off I was on this morning. I didn't want to bump him, so I'm just going to let him do his thing and maybe get back in there mid-morning because I don't have to go to work today and uh, see if I can't get him fired up because he didn't have any hens with him when he went by me, but I know he's meeting them out in the field. In hindsight, I should have just set up out in the field knowing I could hunt all morning, but I don't know. We're just gonna sit here and relax. I'm gonna call periodically, see if anything shows up. We're gonna give it a break for the morning here. Well, not the morning, but at least for the next hour or so. I'm gonna go hunt down Chaz and go get some breakfast and uh, get back after it and see if we can't get something going mid-morning or toward noon. We'll be back after. The turkey slayer himself. <laughs> I'll show you Chaz's turkey from yesterday. There's Chaz's turkey kill from yesterday. So Chaz, you're all done in Pennsylvania. How's it feel after two days of hunting? The quickest I've ever been done. <laughs> it was nice, nice to sleep in a little bit this morning though. Now he's getting geared up for New York. I'll need a lot of luck. Maybe you can do four in four days. <laughs> it would. Okay, so we got breakfast, and uh, I'm with the guide himself here, the turkey slaying machine, and we just uh, hit a bird right up here that uh, answered the call, and we hit him two or three more times, and he's hit it every time, so I don't think we don't think it was just a shot gobble so we're gonna get in a uh, kind of different we're gonna come at him from a different angle and see what we can do here so we'll see if the turkey slayer himself can can uh, can bring him in we'll find out sounds like they're they're right up on top of that hill right there what do they call it Chaz? heart attack hill <laughs> What do you say to death? To death? Not today. The <laughs> Game of Thrones? <laughs> Arya Stark? Not today. Not today. He's hammering everything. It's a totally different bird. There might be two different ones, Chess. Because I thought I heard one over here and over there. That's all open woods. He just gobbled again. We gotta get out. Yeah. There's a roadway right here. It goes out to the track star. Once a month. Once a month. 
and he came while we had them birds in our lap. That was that was one of Ken's mountain hollows. Hey, hey, which one? Oh, that's the uh, I forgot what that one's called. Well, let's try to, what we're gonna do is try to go all the way down from them. We think the well tender, he checked the well head right there. Them birds are right here. I think he booted them up the hill into our left. So we're gonna go all the way down, round and try to get on the top side of them. It's really hard to call birds down a steep slope anyways, let alone in all this, uh, these thorn apples. So let's make a move. The old well tender did us in on them birds. <laughs> I don't know what the chances of that are. You know, if I'd have known that he was going to be coming up there, I'd have, I, I, I might have been able to stand up and kill one. They were right there. I heard them spitting and drumming right over me. They were thundering. I know. What do you got for a time? 10.30. We got a little time, yeah. Boy, I thought we had them dead. Tender is no fun. Well, folks, that's a wrap on uh, episode four, I think, of this year's turkey season. I was all over me. I should have killed a bird right off the roost this morning. It came up by me and then we had that big long beard, I mean right on top of me. And a uh, well tender came up to check the well and, and spooked him. So we actually had another bird shot gobble to us on the game lands up there, but he never wanted to play the game. But what do you think, Chaz? Once a month happened to be the day we were up there. Okay, everybody, I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, I want to say special thanks to uh, all my Patreon members of the channel. Uh, you guys make this happen, so we'll be uh, in New York in the morning, so we're going to give these stupid Pennsylvania turkeys a break. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning, everybody.